So last episode we disassembled the B20 block, the surplus B20 block with you guys. We checked and everything seems fine, right? Yes, but now we get all the supplies here. Look at this. ERP rod molds and everything from the HRC auto supply. The ERP came from downshift supply. So now we're gonna check the pistons, check everything, and yes, just for fun, we're gonna check the ring gaps of the used mileage or the high mileage engine, and also check the ring gaps of the new piston rings for you guys. So yep, we'll see all the difference. We'll talk about the oil pump, the stuff we do. Yes, so we prep the pistons, ERP rod molds, here's already. Yep, so we're gonna do this, all the stuff. So yeah, this one for you. For anything, here's a new page. I had to make a new page because my personal Facebook got hacked, so I lost control of the old page. Here's the new page. You got the prices there for head porting, engine rebuild labor, cam degree, intake manifold porting. Basically, all the work that we're gonna do on this engine, the price it is there, right? We try to constantly post there at the as at the shop page when when the shop is not busy. Post daily, but when we're a bit busy, we're gonna post every other day because some of the stuff there don't make it to a content here on the channel, but we still post it there for a good discussion on the comments and like it led to intake tests like you know, the short ram. As here you can see, we're finishing up the VTI engine here, installing it and also porting the VTI head. So everything is there. And of course, if you don't have Facebook, of course we have our Instagram here. My personal Instagram is also active. I use it for SRD Motorsports. You see, I still constantly post there too. So you can comment in the Instagram or Facebook page. Both links will be in the description below. And of course, for short form content, our TikTok is quite active. TikTok here, we have all the good videos for just good entertainment. You can check it out too. All three links will be in the description below, all right? Yeah, check it out, okay? Now, here we are. Here's the block. The crank is still there, but we checked. Everything seem seems okay when we checked it, so we're gonna give it a further look just with you guys so we can check everything yep so of course all the parts came in i ordered the bearings piston rings from hrc and here it is erp rod bolts came from downshift supply in marikina carlo is a good guy they own the shop and the hrc also for the other stuff let's unpack the package here here it is the water pump gates oem replacement belt tensioner rod bearings main bearings and here the piston rings so now let's check the pistons here it is we haven't really cleaned it up it, you can see the dome has more carbon on it but that's not really you know someone said it looks cooked but you, we che we checked the specifications of the crown and the skirt there was no no signs of over expansion so it didn't really run hot so now here let's start with the used piston rings i'm not sure how much mileage mileage it has probably around 180,000 or even 200,000 because these are like 30 or 30 year old engines almost so let's check the gap where, where's the filler gauge here we are so it's 0 0.013 14 and 15 so let's just check which one is gonna work for it all right 13 is loose 14 Okay, now it's 15 is still loose so this is 16 okay it's around 16 because with 16 it still fits but it's kind of like gripping so this is perfect yep so it's 16 0 0.016 ring gap all right so now let's take it out take all this out you can throw this away now because we're gonna have new piston rings all right yeah I need a favor from you guys. Hit the like button because the more likes the video get, the more activity it shows to the algorithm. That's why it's gonna have more activity. It's gonna spread out to a wider audience. It helps the channel grow big time. So I appreciate that, guys. Hit the like button, all right? And if you haven't, you gotta subscribe. This way you can check out all the other videos in our playlist on your own free time. Because when you log into YouTube, you can check out if you have a new video or not. 
you can check it and see all the playlists that we have here all right and yes you know it for the hardcore you gotta join the channel memberships we have ultra hardcore videos that's gonna be boring for the general audience but for the hardcore it's gonna be perfect because we go deep into details and all the tricks that we do so it's gonna be on the membership only even tuning all right so here's the plastic gauge i mean sorry the filler gauge and the new piston rings so we're gonna unpack the piston rings Let's unpack this quickly we'll just check the top ring first because you know we're still gonna have the block hone so it's gonna change we're gonna check that on the final assembly but for now we get the top ring compared to the high mileage ring earlier the earlier one was 0.016 on the clearances right on the ring gap so now let's take this to the engine stand and check the gaps let's go let's go all right here we are now I'll put the rings there okay the top ring make sure it's all flush with the we use the pistons to push it out equally now let's check the, the filler gauge so this, this is 14 15 16 so Let's check. This one is still it's kind of okay, but it's still a bit loose. So let's go back to 15. Uh, yeah, this one actually looks really good with a 15 because it goes in, but it's already gripping the the top ring so it's 0 0.015 so if you notice the earlier one the used rings was 0 0.016 now here let's check out how we check the deck if it's flat it's easy it's 0 0.0015 here the smallest gauge or filler and then 0 0.025 0 0.025 and 0 to 0 30 all right on the manual it says up, up to 0 0.025 but let's go to the oil pump first here's the oil pump all right so we remove this cover here which put this here so it's gonna face you guys so we remove we have a video of that link will be in the description below we remove this cover here so we make sure the lateral clearances of the of the ge pump gears is good we don't usually port it but sometimes we port it upon request but yeah you gotta remember just like heads you can over port the pump and it's gonna not do you no good and so when people say here the we, we not talk nila, that's like over hogging it that's not necessarily good right so we have to make sure the lateral clearances of, of the gears are good on the video i talked about earlier well uh, it talks about that and here let me talk about the relief spring here this one back in the 50s and 60s when they started putting this on oil pumps the technology and metallurgy wasn't that good. So when the engine got operating temperatures, it lost pressure. So that's why they ship it for pressure, but not on engines now. And this one here, B20 VTEC, we built it in 2019. It was all good. And Jasper's B20 VTEC, we did this around 2018. It's been racing until now with a B20 pump. No problem, it's perfect and it's 9,700 RPM limit. It's still good. So yep, you gotta check on that video, all right? All right, here's a trick. If you, got, if you guys don't have a flat edge, you can use this, the B16 rocker arm shaft, because this is straight, because if it's not straight, it won't go in, into the head. So we're not about to show, we're not those guys, the cool dudes with, with cool tools that shows cool tools and like, you know, we know not everyone has a flat edge, so this is the easiest one. Uh, you know, it's, it's kind of crude, but you know, you can check it out. It's 0 0.0015 here, and it doesn't go through, so there's no warp. Let's check it on this other side diagonally. It still doesn't go through. When, when there's a little bit of warp, the 0 0.0015 goes through it. And here, straight, let's see. And I know on the factory limit, it's up to 0 0.0025, you're still okay, but 0 0.0030, you need to resurface it. It'll still run with a new gasket, but it's not gonna last long. So this 0 0.0015 doesn't go in, so this is still good and flat, but since we're rebuilding this, 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 still will, this would still get a resurfacing done just to make sure everything is clean after honing it. So we're going to send this to the machine shop to get it honed, resurfaced, and then, you know, we can clean it up and we'll be, it'll, it'll be ready for final assembly. That'd be so cool. 
all right so now let, let me get this all right let's look at closer as you can see the blocks kind of fresh even the cooling jacket and here this part is it's point usually it's point zero forty inch deep so you can check there if the if the block has been resurfaced or not but this one hasn't been resurfaced so it's really good so now let's go back to the workbench we've cleaned, my colleague has cleaned up the pistons let's check it out here it is so now it's all ready to be to have the erp and the rod bearings installed the piston rings will install it last moment when we're going to assemble it onto the block this way it doesn't get dirty or doesn't get no grime so okay that's the intake side and the arrow usually points to the pulley so we're going to label this label this number one Right. We usually put the arrow pointing onto the pulley just to make sure whenever we're having the pistons pressed out to a different rod. This way the machine shop doesn't accidentally make a mistake, but since we're not having this pressed out, this does not need all the details, just the numbers to just, you know, remind us that you know, it, it, it's that in order. So, all right, so here it is. All the ARP rod bolts are installed. We actually on this at this point we're gonna put some ARP lube on the threads and tighten the nut. This way it's pre-lubed so that when we put the bearings and rod caps, so when we install the pistons onto the engine, we just put a dab of ARP lube on the rod bolts and it's gonna be well lubed. So when we stretch it, it's gonna be perfect. Because, you know, when you don't get the necessary stretch, you actually just lube it, it's going to get there. So we pre-lube it, and yes, Erwin's SRR is here, so we're going to disassemble it soon. Yes, as soon as that is done, you can also click it here.